Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another episode. Today I'm going to be discussing is anger an okay feeling and how should you feel based on what you see that is happening in the schools? Well, first of all, let me just tell you as a parent, if you are not concerned regarding what is available in the school to your children and the indoctrination that is going on, there might be a problem. Now, in this mini series, I've covered compassion and empathy and how it's used to weaponize um, people to tolerate this bad behavior. Now, is it okay to feel anger towards what is happening? Well, I would say that's probably the appropriate reaction when you see that this ideology taught in schools is actually resulting in children being sterilized and mutilated before they even have a chance to start a family. Now, these children are being lied to and the most vulnerable children, children who don't have strong parents or or a family, they're going into the school system and they're being taught that gender is assigned at birth, not observed, like it should be taught, and that uh, they can be something else and that they're possibly born into the wrong body. So they are saying that whatever body that they're born in is not right. So they're not being taught that it's okay to be themselves and rather that they should adopt a different thinking. Actually, going as far as adopting a sexual identity. And not only that, but an identity that is based on medical intervention and constant affirmation from people saying, for example, to a man, oh, it's okay, you are a woman if you dress, and constantly upholding this image that defies reality. I mean, as a parent, as a responsible parent, does this not anger you? Does the fact that staff, educators, and students, organization, everybody is coming into the school and they constantly have sexual discussions with your children about their sexuality and preferred sexual activity. How are children supposed to know what they prefer sexually and why are strangers talking to your children about their sexuality? This kind of behavior is completely unacceptable and if this was to happen outside on the playground, that person would go directly to jail. So why are we tolerating this kind of behavior in schools? You know, a lot of times we see like all oh, parents are just angry and parents want this and that. And you know what? Absolutely right. And it is okay to be angry. I mean, if this kind of stuff doesn't light a fire under your ass and doesn't make you want to do something about it and go and hold the school board accountable for the things that they're putting into these kids head and just resulting into a lifetime uh of psychological and physical damage, I mean, I don't know what else will. If you are not going to be angry about what is happening, uh, I, I don't know what else will do it for you. I mean, at this, at this point, I don't know how much more clear the school board can make it that they do not want parents involved. And they even have policies and procedures that keep parents out of the conversation with a rising, uh, with a rising group of kids who are at risk of depression and suicide. I mean, should you not be concerned what is happening inside the school system? I would definitely recommend that you stand up and you, and you confront the school board and even go to the Ministry of Transportation, uh, the Ministry of Education and you demand something. I mean, this stuff is completely, uh, unacceptable on behalf of the school board and it's our role as parents to protect our kids. So if anybody's trying to make you feel bad for feeling angry about what's happening, just know that this is the appropriate feeling and just don't dismiss it and don't feel bad. I mean, what is happening to our children is completely unacceptable and this ought to motivate you to do something about it. Now I've had a couple delegations and I've made uh, these podcasts available that talk about what is going on in the school system and I follow the school system closely. Now all of my information, all of the videos are being heavily censored. So if you find the content useful, please share them. I mean, these videos are not popping up in anybody's feed unless they go out of their way to click on it. 
And if you find yourself lucky enough to view these videos, I highly recommend that you send these videos to your friends and family because people need to know what is happening in the school board. Hope you like this mini series and stick around for more. Thanks.